In this video, we're going to start using variables with our selection. Um, so as you can see in my program here, I've created, declared a variable called num1 and set it to be an integer, so it'll store whole numbers. And here, I've given it the value 55. So I'm just going to have a check um, in my program. If the number in num1 is bigger than 50, it's going to say big number, else it's going to say small. So if num1 is greater than 50, I'll solve that right line. So I'll put the message big number. Else, so if it's 50 or below, I'll put the message small. Let's run it and see what happens. See? Big number because it's 55, which is greater than 50. If I now change this to 50, I should get a small number because remember this is greater than, not greater than or equal to. So number big numbers bigger than 50, greater than 50 are 51, 52, 53, and so on. Let's try again. Small number. Now Let's try and build in an else if here to have three different situations. So first of all, I'm going to change my big number criteria. So it has to be bigger than 75. It's for big number. And then I'm going to have an else if num1 is bigger than I don't know, 40. Right line, medium number. Finally, my last option is not bigger than 75, it's not bigger than 40, right, small number. So that should give me medium number there. Let's try that. Medium number. I'm going to test it for small number. So let's put it to 35, which is small number. Test it. Large number, so greater than 75, 76. Let's try the, um, let's test the boundaries here. Good practice for testing. There you go. So try creating a variable, giving it a value, and then checking it using ifs, else ifs, and elses.